Neurological linguistic programming. Mm, scary word. Um, first time I ever heard it, I was like, what the heck is that? Neurological linguistic programming, also known as NLP. Um, neurological linguistic programming is uh, something that helps us to connect or make a connection with other people. Often used uh, in best practices through um, salesmen, saleswomen uh, in the sales world. Um, though it can be used in, in all areas of life, uh, making a connection with um, an opposite sex, making a connection with an employee, making a connection with uh, someone that you work with, making a connection with someone at the grocery store, right? So, neurological linguistic programming, or for the purposes of this uh, video, I'll call NLP. NLP is, is uh, best used, again, by making a connection. Well, how do you make those connections? Well, um, People learn in different ways, or, or they uh, retain information uh, and, and um, make connections with people in different ways, uh, actually in three ways. The three ways are uh, by using an acronym I like to call VAC, or V-A-K. Um, they connect and learn and retain information visually, um, audibly, and kinesthetically. So our visual learners or connectors are people that, that will actually use words um, like I see what you're saying or can you see that or that looks clear could you paint me a better picture do you see where I'm going with that now when you hear these words you can immediately understand that the person that you're connecting with is a visual learner that the best way to reach or make a connection with them or make your point uh, is by actually allowing them to see something we're using those actual words back to them in your vocabulary with them. Um, another way would also be audibly. Um, people learn by hearing. Or they retain more information or connect by hearing. They'll say things like, I hear you. Yes, that makes sense. Um, I understand. Sounds good. Things like that. So, if you can listen closely pay attention um, to those words that they're using, you can then take those words, use them right back with them, and ultimately create that connection with them. Give them something to hear. Uh, it, it, meaning, again, why, while it's often used in sales is why people make this connection, they know exactly how to get the information to them. Though I, I think you can understand where I'm going with make a connection with any person by, by utilizing NLP. Uh, the other way is kinesthetically. People, people that are kinesthetic will say something like, I feel you. Um, that's warm. That's, uh, that feels good. Things of that, things of that nature. Uh, you're hot. That's on fire. Right? Uh, th things of those, words like that. So when you hear these, I need you to start to pay attention. Not I need you. I, I, I would recommend that you, you pay attention. And then I would challenge you. Use those words again back to the person that you're, that you're speaking with uh, or that you're typing with or you're texting with um, and see how much better and easier you'll be able to make a connection with that person. As it comes to business, it's very, very important uh, or, or leadership for that because it, it, it's a great way for you to uh, get your message across. True communication is the response we receive back. So, you know, make a connection, get, get your get your message communicated to the person you need it communicated to immediately in the most effective way. Uh, you can do this simply by using NLP. Um, I would recommend read books. Look this stuff up, up online. This is a short video, so I won't go into too, too much more about it. Um, though there's also things called matching and mirroring. Um, you know, there's, there's different ways for you to actually, when you're writing, uh, to, to make sure that you're, if you're talking to someone on the telephone, listen to their words, write down all of their, uh, the words that they're using. You can, you can then analyze that information to understand what type of person that they are. Pets, you know, someone that has a, a, um, a fish, you know, just asking simple questions. Do you have any pets? Yes. What kind? Oh, I have a fish tank. Okay, I have an Oscar. Well, that person is a visual person, you know. Um, someone that has a dog, a cat, hamster. Traditionally, they like the pet, they like the feeling, right? So they're more of a kinesthetic. Uh, people that have birds are audible, right? Um, breakdown of societies traditionally like this. 40% of all people learn um, kinesthetically. 40% of all people, the other 40% would be uh, visual. And 20% of all people are audible. Just think about the pet breakdown that I said. 
about 20% of all people have birds. So hope this information helped and uh, you can use it wisely. It is powerful stuff. If you can really study it, learn it, and, uh, and apply it to your life, your business, your leadership style. Um, and uh, I you know, look forward to seeing all of you guys again.